The last five years I've been making a documentary and I haven't really posted any of it. I haven't shared any of that footage and I've realized I have so much incredible footage there's just no way I can use all of it in the documentary. So I've decided I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is for anyone who doesn't want to settle for less. Anyone who wants permission to dream big. Anyone who wants the most out of life. Anyone who's fucking tired of not achieving their full potential, basically. The truth is, I honestly feel like I've had a lot of failures this year. Might not look like it on the surface, but I know I could be doing so much more than I currently am. I know my results could be so much better than they currently are. I might just be holding myself to an insane standard, but I don't want to lower it. I just don't want to lower the standard. I want to rise to the occasion. I want to be better. I want to do more. I want to try harder. I want to, I want to change my approach. I want to figure shit out. I don't know exactly what that's going to look like or what it's going to be, but I want to keep trying every single day and I want to document it on this channel. Hit the like button, subscribe so that you don't miss the videos. I'm going to be uploading every Friday. So December last year, I went to a Tony Robbins event with my, my friends and my brother. And halfway through, I ended up having to go home to my wife and kids because my kids were really, really sick and so was my wife and she was really struggling to take care of them while I was gone. So I went home. And that was a really, really tough decision for me because I had invested a lot of money into that event. And I was feeling really, really conflicted about what to do. Should I go home? Should I stay? My, my family is suffering because I'm here, but this is important. I feel like I need this. I feel like my mental health is suffering right now. I feel like I really need to figure some shit out. Otherwise, I can't be the best version of myself. I can't be the best dad. I can't be the best husband. And I, I didn't know what to do, but I ended up going home and staying with them for two days until they were a little bit better. And then I went back. And that's when we decided to go over that swim.
honestly, a big part of me is really, really, really fucking scared about making this video about starting this because I've quit a lot of things this year and it's not something I normally do. I normally am a person who follows through. I say something, I do it. My word is my bond. But this year I've said so many things that I haven't done and I'm scared this is going to be another one and I'm hesitant and I don't want to post this video and I don't want to make it and I'm trying to talk myself out of it, but I'm, I'm still doing it. I'm setting the camera up. I'm charging the batteries. I'm going for the, I'm doing it. I'm fucking doing it. Yes. Yes. It's nice to meet you, sir. Yes. Let's go. Doing that run and going into the water. Like, I was not feeling it. <laughs> and then on the way when we were chanting that stuff, it's just, it fucking works. <laughs> Starting to yell that, reminding myself of that I've been saying that every morning when I get up. When I get up early at 5 a.m., I'm saying that. What, now I'm the voice? Now I'm the voice. And it just starts to come back. And by the time we get to the beach, I'm like walking into the water, like, I can't even say it because I'm like, no one could see it, but I was like sob crying, going like, <gasps> and just like straight into the water. And then it's like, it's intense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just went straight in. Not even. <laughs> did you take off your shoes? I did take off. You did have to take off your shoes, yeah. Uh, but I was like, when I came to the I am a leader part, it's just like I start to feel very emotional because when I feel like I'm not in my family when they don't think I'm doing the right thing and I also feel like I'm leaving you guys here I know that you guys don't think I'm doing that but you know that's how I feel that no matter what I do I can't do it properly but then I, it, it was a powerful experience so at these Tony Robbins events they get you really fucking pumped up and riled up and motivated like you've never been before and then they ask you to write down four goals that you have for the year and one of the things you learn at these events is that if you can out loud say what your goals are and why you want to achieve them what's the purpose behind them with as much energy and conviction as possible then you have a much higher chance of actually achieving those goals so this next clip is going to look a little crazy, but this is the exercise that we were asked to do. Oh, oh, oh. 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 it was coming. Ah. Click! No, no, no! Right here! Alright. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Camera rolling. experience on my property because that's what I'm meant to do. Yes. That's what I was put on this earth to do. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be the fuel that juices the rest of my life. All the other goals are going to come from that. Juice it. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> and the last one. That's all right. <laughs> Number four. I'm gonna get nominated for an Oscar yes. for the edit. Because, because yes, why? the people who need to see it most 
we'll be able to see it that way. Yeah. And I really mean that. So I'm gonna be sharing a lot of really, really, really fucking awesome content. So don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.